go into part four, it's almost like a ballad type at first, and then it goes into this um, like agony almost when the rest of the ensemble comes in. But it starts out with a, like a rhythm section uh, solo. So uh, as soon as part three is over, we go right into it, and we had the synths doing some sampling stuff, and we're basically vibing out until me and Noah come in on our drums. Noah comes in, he's our timpanist, comes in with some roll stuff, and then I come in with some tom fills, and the rest of it really just kind of builds into this, um, into this like catastrophe of, of sounds. The weight of the world is too much to bear alone. Too much to bear alone. We had the synths laying down some cool um, parts. Uh, Corey, our, one of our synth players, is laying down almost like an electric guitar riff over me and Noah playing this back and forth stuff. Um, and it kind of ends with um, this massive uh, ending drum solo for me where I'm just kind of going around the toms, do some crossovers, some cymbal stuff. Um, it's just like kind of ends huge and immediately cuts out all the air leaves of the stadium and it's back into the horn entrance. it's like we don't win. Part three is like we're in the competition, we're going and we're, we're trying our hardest and then part three ends and we go into this like place of we're, we didn't win, right? What do you do when you don't win? You're obviously, you're upset, you're sad, but it's not only that, he loses the weight of the world, Atlas does, right? So the whole weight of the world, he can't pick it up even if he tries. So that's the, the agony part that we're trying to display, especially in the beginning solos, kind of setting that up for the rest of the ensemble for when the, the horn soloist comes in. Alone. But as a whole pit, um, we all jump into action uh, after that. And we, we sort of layer it in. Starts out with the marimbas with a, a one-handed roll. And then after that, it just it builds and builds. And once we get through the first half of that, uh, that build, we just go into this hard hitting. It's all you know these different metric uh, bodies go into play and it's all this inner working stuff um, and basically what we're doing is leading the rest of the ensemble into the big moment where the battery comes in on their buzz rolls and as soon as that happens it kicks off into this just massive um, almost or orchestral um, uh, ballad of the agony that Atlas is facing and you can see that in the choreo that the, uh, that the guard's doing and the music itself just portrays this, uh, this sadness and this like crushed feeling. And you can see it, um, the soloist uh, Aiden, as he's going, he can't lift up the props and it, it really just kind of all ties into this, you know, central theme of he can't do it, you know, he's broken. There were some points in spring training, especially early on, where I almost didn't feel like I could do it. I, I didn't feel like I really belonged in an ensemble to this caliber. I didn't feel like I was, I was up to the standard. And for me, it kind of, this part of the show kind of characterizes that portion of uh, the tour life or the drum corps life so far. And then um, obviously working through that, coming to the emotions of getting used to the sun, getting used to the heat, getting used to the demand of just being a, a really good musician every day. And like, and even now it's like, you know, we all make mistakes. And it's like, nobody's perfect. And we're all gonna, you know, drop the weight of the world at some point. Um, and so that, you know, this part really kind of, identi I identify that part with the beginning of spring training for me. So, yeah.